Hey, it's Colleen with Rope and Resellers. I'm here for another sales update of what I sold on eBay for the week of October 1st through October 7th, 2018. Okay, 13 items sold this week, a little bit better than last week. First thing on the list, Sony MDR-10 Dynamics Stereo Walkman headphones. These, I actually bought a little baggie of these foam covers because I pick these up so frequently because a lot of times the foam is broken down. These are getting pretty old. So they sold full price. I collected $22.91. They didn't cost me anything. I picked them up out of uh, a free bin eBay, PayPal, fees, plus shipping. Total cost to me was $5.29, so my net on that was $17.62, and it took six weeks to sell. These I sell frequently. They just go, they're like a, a little gravy train. This is cool, but uh, didn't sell for a lot. This is a Bates. Um, it's got like a cool mid-century airplane telephone book, basically, and note keeper that people used to keep next to the phones when the phone stayed in one place and <laughs> one's on the wall. Anyway, sold for $19.99. Cost me $4 at an estate sale. Like I said, I think I paid too much for it. $10.47 in shipping and fees for a total profit of $12.62, and it took six weeks to sell. Here's my beloved Patagonia shirts. Um, these are really easy. This did have some stains I disclosed. Pulled this out of the dollar bin at a thrift store that I a door and um, it sold for full price. I collected $23.49. Like I said, it cost me a dollar. My total profit on that one was $16.02 and it took six months to sell. So I kind of sold it in the off season, sounds like. Vintage uh, ski shirt. This was awesome. I knew the moment I looked at it that it was from the 1980s. Here is just a generic tag made in the USA, but usually if it's made in the USA, it's probably pretty vintage. Anyway, it sold for $24.99. I collected $28.17. It cost me $2 at an estate sale. $6.75 in shipping and fees for a total profit of $19.42, and it took three weeks to sell. My husband kind of wanted that one, but I told him he couldn't have that. Uh, another one of these switches, switch lots, um, sold, so that's great. It's my little gravy train. I list something once and then they just keep selling. My total profit on that. Uh, so I did pay up for this. I bought a big tote, $55. And as I said last week and probably the week before, education is expensive. So I did, it averaged out that this cost me $9.17. So that's why the profit margin is not super great. But I did learn that switch track is something that you do want to look for. So, um, and the fact that this is brand new, that, so that's kind of what makes this a little more valuable. But it, uh, my profit on each of these is $11.60, but this only took a week to sell. So um, it's, yeah, it's definitely worth picking up. Dana Design, I pick up any and all vintage backpacks I find. They seem to be, especially at estate sales, I'm finding a lot of older vintage backpacks, which is amazing. This one actually went out of the country, went through the global shipping program. So I got $79.99. I collected $93.34. Cost me $5 at an estate sale. $24. No, actually, yeah, it was kind of an estate garage sale. $24.25 in shipping and fees for a total profit of $64.09. And it took only six days to sell. Daisy Kingdom pattern. I don't make much on these things, but I don't pick them up for much. It cost me about 25 cents, and my profit on that was $7.90, and it took nine months to sell. This is um, this is my interesting one of the week. So I didn't know who this guy was, but I knew it was Mattel. So I looked up 1973 Mattel and then Farbs. Turns out he's like a collectible little figure. They used to have these cars where it was like giant heads on the cars. And if you find those cars, those are actually worth a lot too. This was a costume. It was somewhat... I mean, it wasn't trashed or anything, but, um, like I think he had a crack over his nose. You can see in this photo over his nose and, um, this wasn't perfect, but there was nothing like this that, I mean, it was just such a unique item. So originally I was going to list it for 40 and then I was like, Oh, 45. And then I started thinking about it. I'm like, ah, eh, 50, I'll just list it for 50. Maybe it'll sell. I, 
And then I was like, you know what? Forget it. These things are selling like new in package, these little cars. And they're just little cars that boys collected in the 70s. Um, that They're going for hundreds of dollars. Look it up. I didn't know anything about these and I, and I have never cr- come across them. And uh, anyway, so I listed it at 60. It sold <laughs> immediately, like within a half an hour immediately. And that's when you go, oh, shoot, should have listed it for more. But then I think, well, you know what? I only paid $2 for this at an estate sale. And um, that one costume pretty much paid for almost all the other costumes and 1970s toys that I bought at that estate sale. So anyway, uh, I collected $64.93. My total profit on this was forty-seven forty-five, and like I said, it took less than a half an hour. You're probably not going to find one of these, but um, yeah, something. Go look them up; they're pretty cool. Nintendo Game Boy Advance. This is a, a package that I had bought quite a while ago, and my I buy these things frequently because I sometimes there's games that I can high grade out of here. In fact, I think my son ended up with the Super Mario or Mario game that was in here, but. Um, Anyway, this is a pretty good little package, and it had been sitting on my desk for quite a while before I listed it, but it finally sold for $90.28 uh, is what I collected. I spent $10 for this at a garage sale, but like I said, I, I high-graded a game out of it, so it really almost, in essence, didn't cost me anything. Sixty-three seventy-seven is my total profit on that, and it took three and a half months to sell, so... You can bundle stuff and then get good money for it. A vintage nose. This thing was kind of creepy. Had a mustache. It was missing one of its arms. And I do clearly show that in the photo and I set it. And then it also had this weird like fabric mask creepy thing that wasn't super clean and I wasn't going to clean it. So anyway. Um, But this also sold pretty fast. I collected um, $9.91. I paid 50 cents. It was a big bag of masks and stuff that I bought at the same estate sale where I got the other costume. Four sixteen in shipping and fees for total profit of five twenty five, and it only took three days to sell. So these little noses, I guess, are something. It was made in France. Um, it's, uh, I guess, maybe something that people are looking for. To me, a uh, Dakota bag. It was a, a bag that I was cleaning out from under my stairs. And I found this, asked my husband if he still wanted it because I had never seen him use it. And he said no. So I sold it to a gentleman who lost his in the flood in Houston last year. So uh, I collected $49.82. It didn't cost me anything. $33.77 is my profit on that. And it took about a week to sell. This is uh, another home movie lot that I put together with all these German Shepherds. I guess they must have shown German Shepherds, but the outfits were absolutely hilarious. Um, so it was a lot of five home movies, and it sold for full price. 1833 was what I collected. I spent about a dollar on this. I got a bunch of movies and film stuff um, from an auction. Uh, so my profit was 12.03 and it took seven months to sell and the last thing was a vintage GE AM FM stereo cassette player Uh, you know pretty generic with these headphones but they don't have the little foam things in them but that's okay sold for 24.99 I collected uh, 29.93 spent 50 cents on this at a garage sale Shipping and fees, $7.95 for total profit, $21.48, and it took six months to sell. Quickly looking at the numbers, $421.87 is what everything sold for, $499.47 is what I collected, $35.42 for cost of goods, mostly the Game Boy and the uh, train education. $131.03 is what everything costs. $333.02 $333.02 is what I made on eBay. $39.12 with 10 shirts and two returns on Amazon Merch, the print-on-demand platform. So total e-commerce, $372.14. So if you average out last week and this week, then I hit my $200 profit net goal. It's it's the ups and downs in eBay. And I... I 
I have to admit that title last week was a little bit of clickbait. I, I honestly know that sometimes sales are great and sometimes they're not so great. So um, I did want to revisit what I talked about experimenting with last week. I did some promoted listings. I did 50, 51 listings and that was the recommended ones that eBay put out there. You can just say recommend some for me. So that's what I did. I did it at 3%, I think. And I had 205 clicks and zero sales. So, um, and that was still going. I didn't realize that I had made it open-ended. So I just looked at it right before I came on. And I'm not sure that that really did me any good because I was thinking, oh, I didn't have any sales on Saturday and Sunday, which I find really odd. Um, and I thought maybe the promoted sales had ended the campaign, but it hadn't. So... I don't think it had anything to do with promoted listings. More than anything, I was kind of flat on my back last week. I pulled a muscle in my back and uh, had some back spasms. So I had my desk set up on a bin <laughs> so that I could stand and not sit. And I was taking a lot of breaks and I didn't get a ton listed. I was only listing, you know, at one to maybe two listings a day. And for a while there, I was doing like seven, eight, ten listings a day. So I have a feeling that had more to do with it than anything else is that I just stopped listing quite as much and as frequently. So back on the gravy train again, can list like a fiend because we all know that this is the time of year to get your stuff sold. And if it's not listed, it's not going to sell. So that's my advice to you. Get listing. Hope to see you guys next week. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Give me suggestions in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching.